Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. In this video, I'll share with you the demise, the sudden shocking death of a social media influencer and rapper. Her name is Little Tay. Uh, don't know if you know. Some of the risks of making the video outside. Okay, so don't know if you know much about her, but I'll just give you a brief and uh, why am I speaking or highlighting about this? And what is the danger, especially for children? Okay, so watch the video, give me your thoughts. For those of you who are new to my channel, name is Loy Macedo. I help people get well-paying jobs in the Middle East, especially Dubai, UAE. Uh, specialization is personal branding and uh, People book my services for personal professional coaching. Ah, personal professional problems, not coaching. Yeah. So, if you are, uh, you know, active on the internet or you're updated, you know this girl. Her name is Little Tay. I saw her first time in uh, Logan Paul's video where uh, if you search now, you'll find out this girl, uh, like an expensive car opens and this girl is like rapping and saying, you know, I got a seven figure car. I'm earning so much money. You are a, you know, piece of shit and I have more money than you and I live a life, you know, like being like a spoiled brat and making fun of others, saying that you don't have this expensive car, you don't have that expensive car. So she's talking of super expensive luxury cars. She's flexing her, you know, money in her hand and she's showing jewelry and, you know, making fun of people. And uh, she became a viral sensation with almost uh, 3 million followers. Now, see, the problem with people is you do something, you think you're smarter than the system, you think you're better than the system, you think you can fool other people. Uh, you don't, people generally don't calculate what are the risks which are involved in doing all this. See, in her case, because she was doing all this, obviously she got a lot of hate which was one part or people see this lizard hey 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 talk about wildlife okay anyway today's video is full of surprises so people not only started to search where is she from what is her background almost everyone knew that she was uh, putting on an act this was not really who she was and uh, lo and behold, after, you know, people kept searching and obviously she kept putting out more videos, trying to fight with other influencers. Nobody knew if it was fake or made up. She would say, you bitch ass, I got more money than you. And which is amusing and funny when you see a nine year old girl, but always remember, you know, social media is like a double edged sword. So people started, uh, searching for her and uh, one fine day they actually found out that she's from Canada she her mother works in a real estate company and then out of the blue a video got leaked nobody knows how even I don't know maybe you know uh, you can tell me of her rehearsing in front of the camera 
like when she was doing her videos that she was shooting, she was like, yo, bitch ass, and you know, I got more money than you. I'm flexing my car. Uh, you're a loser piece of shit and this and that. But this video that was leaked showed her like a nine-year-old girl. She was very vulnerable. She stood there, you know, she sat in front of a camera, a green screen, and she was like, okay, what should I say? Should I say this? Should I say that? And her brother was prompting her, no, 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 listen, say it in this way, show some attitude. And, you know, I'll tell you, you feel so horrible when you see that. A small little girl being brainwashed by some guy and you could make out her innocence, her face, her eyes and you could clearly make out she was not comfortable. That video went super viral and uh, obviously uh, and they informed the authorities for child abuse and then the mother was brought to task. They had a couple of interviews whereby uh, famous outlets, big outlets, media because obviously they want the views and the scoop. They asked her, are you faking it or... She said, no, 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 I'm being real and she kept denying it. But it became so scandalous. The mother decided to, um, you know, shut down. Actually, they shut down their whole social media presence after they found out that the cars that she was flexing were rented. One person complained that this is my car, what the hell are you doing? The houses that she was showing off turned out to be the mother was, uh, you know, the apartment she was supposed to sell, the houses. She was just making the videos there. So the whole act fell down like a, you know, house of cards. And uh, one fine day, all the social media posts were deleted. Everything online vanished. Okay. And then obviously people were searching, searching, but they couldn't find. I would seriously blame the parents. It's seriously the parents, because without the parents, <coughs> your parents are taking care of you. How can you even go on social, social media without the approval of the parents? I don't care what people might say, oh, the mother maybe needed a uh, little bit of air, uh, you know, viral fame. No, sorry. You don't use your children. And so, she vanished. I was just shocked when I got the update today that this girl has won a court case, but she has passed away. So when I read passed away, I was like, what the hell? And then when I searched, found out that she died and I updated all my social media feed. And then to my shock, I found out that even her brother died. And both of them are youngsters. Now, obviously, I'm not aware what are the reasons or causes. But I can tell you one thing for a fact. Social media is very dangerous for children. We've seen that in India when they banned TikTok, Modi government, uh, banned TikTok for Chinese spying or whatever. So many so-called influencers in India, especially young boys, young girls got affected who had a, you know, viral following. Some girls even committed suicide and it's a fact, you can search this. Girls who had, who thought they were superstars. The problem is there are a lot of pedophiles and there are a lot of men who are desperate for sex and, and uh, obviously you can't make out who's admiring you, who's complimenting you. They might say, you're so beautiful, you're so nice. And they might show a photograph of a young man. Behind maybe someone, maybe a 60 year old man. And obviously they send them money when they advertise. If you want to support the content creator, which is, I'm advertising myself to you, I'm dancing, send money. And this still continues. Today, Instagram is seriously advertising children doing really un forgivable things. Girls who are wearing, small girls, nine-year-olds, or lower than that. It might look like they're just dancing to a tune. Imagine they're wearing such tight outfits 
I don't even want to say it. It's, you know what I'm trying to imply. And some of them even stand under falling water. Like they start the video dry, then they go under the falling water and you know what happens then when you wear a very thin outfit. I don't know how social media is allowing that, but... And nowadays it has become a trend where females, they will talk, they'll act like the camera fell down and it goes, you know, they're wearing a short skirt and obviously you know what. And oh, sorry, uh, and they're talking. Okay, adults are doing it, you're sick-minded, fine. Now, nowadays mothers are even showing their breasts that they are feeding the child and they are smiling about, what is this? And now you're bringing in small children, especially girls. I don't know much about boys, but I would definitely say Instagram, where beauty is to be shown, it impacts girls. Young boys are the ones who are absorbing this content. Now, you know, this this problem is not limited to little Tay. Here, where I stay, uh, there are, I obviously can't take, uh, can't reveal the identities. I know these people, I know them personally. Means, personally, I've met them, met their children, met their family. There is this particular lady who keeps making videos of her daughter dancing, wearing sexy outfits, like not sexy, like see through her and promoting her on social media, TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And uh, obviously people have started to donate money. In fact, one of them, one of the videos was when she was having a soapy bath. And obviously she put heart emojis to cover certain areas. She was in a tub. I immediately sent her a message. I normally don't. I said, please remove this. This is not appropriate. Please. Anyway, she listened to me, but videos have continued after that. In fact, when I had been to my wife's village and we met uh, her relatives, she was introducing me to many of her relatives. I remember this one particular lady with her daughter. That daughter had put lipstick and makeup, small girl. And her mother was very eager to meet me because my wife introduced me as a social media YouTube guy. And she introduced me and she said, like she was speaking in Thai, obviously my wife was translating in, into English. And she's telling me that my daughter is also a superstar. So I said, uh, well, like, you know, I was not mentally prepared because, you know, here I'm talking to a human being, I'm not a coach or consultant or... So I was like, oh, okay, okay, I didn't know what else to say. And then she just flipped out her phone and she showed me on TikTok all the dances that she's doing it with makeup and I didn't like the content because she was gyrating and doing, you know, putting her finger in her lips and and they were all songs at the background and she was saying, see how many followers and and the mother had come to meet me to ask for tips on how to be more viral or how to do that on YouTube because she knew TikTok, she didn't know YouTube. I I told my wife, see, listen, just tell her, we'll do it later. Just not keeping, not in a frame of mind. So she explained, she said, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And I, I told my wife later on, make sure she avoid, I avoid her at all costs. That girl has still continued to this day. It has been years. She still does all this stuff and they get money. You don't understand uh, the dark side of it here. Yeah. See, I'm not saying bad things will happen, but when they do, they're not going to inform you. I've told my wife, no YouTube channel, no 
Instagram handle, no Facebook, no TikTok, nothing in my daughter's name. If she has to be in any video, it will be through me. Even a, if you create a Facebook account, it should be operated by me and you. That's it. And people can even kidnap children here. I've got I've got a couple of offers from local Thai brands because my daughter even though speaks Thai and to wear clothes and talk in Thai and they'll give free clothes they'll not pay big money as such but uh, like 5000 baht per month plus free clothes plus being featured and they have uh, I don't know hundreds of thousands of followers subscribers I've told my wife no nothing doing I don't care and uh, to incentivize them, it seems that they will have TV time if they are the highest followed or most why you know, they are incentivizing you to gain more followers. So they'll give you a 10 second or 30 second slot on TV. Many Thai families want, it's like normal, any Indian family, any, any family would want their children to appear. I told my wife, nothing doing. I know many youngsters will say, hey, listen, you outdated old timer. My dear, I know the dangers. I know, man, I get images of people sending their private parts, photographs, even guys telling me, send it, send this to your wife, show it to your wife, show it to your kid. Private parts. Some of them even send videos. It's so disgusting. People do that. People have called. Called me, actual called. You think uh, crimes don't take place around the world? You think your child is safe? Uh, nothing is going to happen. Life is so unpredictable. You know, life is so unpredictable. Saying bye to that kid. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. He spooked out. Maybe think he's Spider-Man. <laughs> See, all I'm trying to tell you is you want to be on social media, fine. If you're an adult and you can handle it, fine. But please keep in mind there are dangers. There are, there are a lot of pedophiles out there, lots. And ever since Instagram, Facebook, TikTok has made, has given them a platform where small children can, you know, advertise themselves doing whatever. And then with the dawn of OnlyFans and women explicitly showing themselves naked in the name of uh, women's empowerment. I don't know what has women's empowerment got to show with encouraging pornographic material and free sex. What is, what, what women's empowerment? Please, uh, children, it's... I would say that uh, as a parent, don't allow the child uh, to create any account until they are 18 or 20. 20 is okay, but you know, because by that time you can't control them anyway. And be protective of what your child watches. My child watches one hour of iPad educational program in front of my wife. It's always front of my wife. Never uh, behind. Yes, when she's cooking and I'm busy, my daughter might just scroll through, but there's that kid's YouTube, no? But there also she gets access to videos like, remember that zombie dance of Lady Gaga? I don't know how she got access to that. So my only request is please protect your children, at least yours. And if you know anybody who are sharing stuff, you know them and their children, explain to them. Just do your due diligence, whether they decide to continue keeping a relationship with you or not. That forget. You do your part. This is all I wanted to share with you. I don't know whether you agree with me, disagree. But social media is a dangerous, dangerous place to 
have children unsupervised. And I know because I interact with a lot of youngsters. Anyway, that's all I want to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, you guys take care. So.